You're too good. The Snapback Journey Radio. Snapback Journey Radio. The Snapback Journey Radio. The Snapback Journey Radio. Presented by Yo Checka TV. With healthy conversations. <laughs> Posted by Checka C. Hey, yo, Checka. Whatever. But like, there's this thing about running and getting on the concrete outside that's just more disciplined and forced, you know? Yeah, it's like, um, I remember someone referring it to like, as like this barbaric, savage, like primal thing. It's the most basic function we've done for millions of years. And it, it is, you have to be very accountable because it's so easy at any point in time to listen to that voice in your head that says, I should stop here. You should stop. You don't need to go any further. That voice is lying to you. You can always go further and you'll be amazed. I'm all like, to me, it's always amazing. Like when I look down, I'm like, okay, I've done one mile. I got 10 more to go or whatever it is. It goes so much faster than you think it will. Absolutely. 100%. Nobody, absolutely nobody is going to be mad at you if you stop. No one is going to fault you if you stop at mile 15 or it's too cold and you want to get a blanket. No one's going to be mad at you about that. Right. It's all you. But I you. want to ask you, did you ever have, you know, when you say dark, do you mean like you get emotional or you just get like sad or depressed? Like, what does that look like for you? Like, are, you know, or is it just all mental? Like, are you actually shedding tears? <laughs> I think, yeah, it was that eight, nine mile period where I was close to like tears because I just knew that I had my family waiting for me at the finish line. And at that point, it's still 20 plus, you know, it's still like nine. I don't know. I can't do the math right now. There's right, right, so right, many right, miles right. to go. It's so many miles high. to go. Yeah. No, I, and that's, I totally feel that. When I was in middle school, I puked during the mile run at school. Like I could, it, so it was a very traumatic, I mean, that's a very volatile time anyway. <laughs> but um, for anyone that's thinking about it is like, so I have this, I, I'm programmed like negatively. I always think negative. So I have to bounce it back with, but what if I do? So like, I could never run a mile, but what if I do today? What if I just try? What if I just do it? Just try it. Um, and set up little rewards for yourself. You want to go get that donut or, you know, you want to splurge on a meal and not feel bad about it. Not that you should ever feel bad about anything you eat, but like set up little rewards or even it's, um, you know, materialistic, but a new pair of running shoes, a new workout outfit will pump you up so much. Get that playlist right and just try it. Three songs, pick out your favorite three songs. And that will probably equal about a mile if you jog to them such a blessing that I do love running during this pandemic when you're not really allowed to see people and you can't go visit people and traveling is not a thing right now. Just getting out of my small one bedroom apartment and having a run. It's like a little mini journey. I've been discovering my, um, my area in Jacksonville, my neighborhoods and seeing things I've never seen before. That's if you get that app, um, there's a great program online with uh, run rock and roll. Um, they, put on marathons all across the country. Obviously they had to change things around. So what they do is they partner with these different apps like Nike Run Club and all that, and they track what you're doing and they give you points. And okay. so um, for every run you get so many points and I got a pair of sneakers out of it. Like you know, it adds up to like real stuff that you can buy. And in the future you can also use the points to buy um, like a, a registration for a marathon that they host in the future. So that's a great way. I know my sisters both got into it. My sister-in-law has done it. She's working on getting her sneakers now. People so that you wouldn't expect, yeah. like from people that I had no idea were paying attention to me, like yeah. former coworkers or people I've met briefly, or like people from high school that I haven't talked to in 20 years. Um, and I always make sure, because I'm not a fast runner, I just go out there and I do my thing. Yeah. So I, I never put like times up on my posts about running because I don't think any, like, and, I, and it's so weird to me when someone's like, well, what was your time on it? I'm like, yeah, I crossed the finish line. That's all you, <laughs> that's all you need. <laughs> 